Hi there, Portland Ignite. I'm Rob Wilcox. I started the first international project on the security and reliability of elections for vote counting. Uh, I've gotten a chance to travel to some countries to work on elections, so I'm going to share some of my observations and maybe some prescriptions for the United States. So first, I'm going to do a short 10-second poll of everybody in the audience here. Who is bored with the current campaign or is nonplussed with the way democracy is working in America now? It's a big problem, and I think it's an important one for us to focus on. The whole purpose of democracy is to serve our needs, not to serve the needs of advertisers to sell television time or newspapers to put print outrageous uh, headlines. So elections are really a system, including all these parts. The current kind of election system we have now is based on the Australian secret ballot developed about 150 years ago. And these old style um, elections with sealed ballot boxes and serialized ballots and lists and so forth are trustworthy on inspection. The average person can look at them and understand how they work. However, beginning in the 1960s, we started to use computers to count elections. And now almost every election in the world is counted by computers, and everything is invisible. So this is the pro problem I've been focusing on for quite a few years. I got an opportunity to go to South Africa to work on the first big elections there. They built an entire elections infrastructure in six weeks to go from having 5 million voters to 20 million voters. And we did it successfully. This is uh, how elections work. Believe it or not, most elections are counted on windows now, which is a little bit scary. <laughs> uh, the country was, almost went into civil war, and so we had this kind of problem where you wake up on, at 10 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday to a huge sound of an explosion, and your first thought is, did they blow up the election headquarters where all my friends were working? So this kind of thing happens. So I needed a little bit more of a challenge, and I went to Sierra Leone to work on elections there. And our project was to look at all the preparations for elections by all the other NGOs and all the other groups involved and find the holes. And we did, and we, uh, we solved those. We actually recommended they not use computers in many cases. But the problem in Sierra Leone is they have the world's richest deposits of gem-quality diamonds. And that fueled a really terrible civil war that uh, although the election was successful and happened and people voted, uh, led to just worsening conditions and a lot of problem with child soldiers and some really other bad things that happened. So we had a successful election, but not a successful outcome for the society. So next I went to Kazakhstan, which is former Soviet Republic. This is a land of yurts and nomadic tribesmen. And, uh, Although the country, the country is now developed, they have great schools, uh, they have huge oil wealth, so the country is booming. By this time, we realized that what was not important was just an election, but what was important is civil society, which is all these things and more, including a freedom from corruption. We had an opportunity to uh, speak with this gentleman. He uh, is on the cabinet. He's the only opposition leader who was in the cabinet. A uh, really smart guy. Unfortunately, about a year and a half after we left, he was assassinated. So again, you know, the election and the democracy was not successful, but uh, all the people are happy. So this is a summary of all the results. All this was gained by standard ethnographic techniques and uh, user experience design ideas. So you have some cases where things were successful and somewhere they're not. So my conclusion is that we really need to think of democracy and civil society in service of human values. The idea that you can create a better life for yourself and for your children. And some of these other countries believe that. And I really question, do we believe that now in the United States? And if we don't, how can we correct that? So I do have some specific ideas as we move forward into the fall election. But it's a big problem. It's going to take a lot more work than that. If you're interested in the sort of the 
issues of software security and elections, talk to me afterwards. I had an opportunity to work with a lot of really amazing people on some big projects, and I'm thankful for that and also for everybody that came here tonight.